Thanks, David. I'm here at a Cedarville student's house where a group of Cedarville students is competing in a Euchre tournament. The student who organized the event, Daniel Mullins, plays Euchre on a regular basis. Mullins, who won the tournament, can be seen playing Euchre in Lawler Lounge around four to five nights a week. He learned the game from his parents and has been playing since he was nine or ten years old. Oh, it's a great game. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's really fast paced. Um, it's, it's a blast. Euchre, a four-person trump card game, is played with half a deck of cards. The players are in teams of two, and the teams try to score points by winning at least three out of five tricks per hand. Mullins says the rules are simple, but learning the strategy of the game is the hard part. Between you and your partner, you want to get the majority of the tricks for that, for that hand. Um, after you win a trick, uh, you're, you get to lead the next card. And knowing what to lead is the hardest part of the game. You can figure that out. You, you're a step ahead of a lot of people. Like Mullins, several other competitors at his tournament have been enjoying Euchre since before they came to Cedarville. I think it's a lot of fun because it's a medium-sized group and uh, there's four people. Um, the games go pretty quick and you can have a sort of a party, kind of like what we have going on right here with uh, with a lot of different people playing. It's just a fun time to like interact with friends and I think it's more interesting than like a regular card game because it involves strategy. These students are the only ones who play Euchre. If you think it sounds like fun, head down to Super Rip and grab a deck of cards. This is Zach Anderson reporting for Cedars.